Hello, my name is Dallas Gerker. I work for Willow Garage in Menlo Park, California, and I live in Seymour, Indiana. And this is my telepresence robot named Texas. The Texas robot allows me to attend meetings, allows me to interact with people um, in presentations, it allows me to go to their office, work with people, it gives me more of a one on one. I'm a very hands on type person. I also need to talk to my hands, or talk with my hands. And so um, this allows me to explain things, to draw lines with my hands, that sort of thing, and interact with people in that sort of way. It allows me to, um, to be part of casual conversations. So in other words, with a phone call and things like that, or even just a Skype call, you're part of it. It's a forced conversation. You, you show up, you have this forced sort of interaction with somebody. Whereas this, it can be very casual. The robot and in my office, I'll kind of leave a connection running um, while I'm working on things. Um, people can come and interact me, with me, ask questions, that sort of thing. Um, a big part is the sort of just the casual meetings that happen, the spontaneous sort of meeting where um, a few people get together and we start working on a problem or asking something. Um, I'll be involved in that and versus having to somebody say, oh, we should call Dallas and find out what he thinks about this or, you know, he should be part of this conversation or something like that. It evolved from the idea that Will Garage builds robots and um, someday the thought was, well, when we had available PR2 robots around, I could kind of commandeer one of them and use that as my eyes and ears and be able to drop that around remotely. Um, someone happened to mention at one point that we had a spare base laying around, an old, old base. And the idea came to me, oh, well, all I need is one caster of that base. Can someone please send me a caster? I took that caster and in a weekend mounted it on some Bosch framing and a battery and put a computer on it and a display and shipped it out there. Texas is based off of the PR2 hardware. Um, the control systems, the casters, everything. It, it very much represents what ROS and what PR2 is about. It's kind of this generic platform that allows it to be used in a variety of ways. So ROS software is used for the teleoperation, for the nav stack and um, odometry, all that sort of thing. The only thing I had to actually change was the description of the file. So instead of this being a PR2 with a bazillion bells and whistles and all kinds of things, it was just simply a PR2 with one caster and it was physically located this way relative to the wheels and after that it just ran. People have been able to get to know me in, with the robot in social type of situations, in casual sort of situations, whereas before they never were. Before they were always forced conversation, or they were conversations that had to have a purpose. So now I meet people in the hallway, say good morning, they say good morning to me, um, talk about our day, or talk about things, talk about um, various casual aspects about what we're working on. Those, to, those types of interactions are very important.